Let's wrangle up some castles. It'll be nice having this job done, especially since we gotta get we gotta get working on combining here real soon. It's kind of the last bigger job that we had wrote down that we needed to get done before harvest. Headed to two pastures, gonna work 70 pairs, a couple bowls. Get those calves their first round of vaccines in, so that way when they're weaned, they're gonna have a lot better chance of staying healthy. We got three four-wheelers in the back, we'll chase them up. It's kinda chilly, it's 60 degrees out right now, but it's topping out at like 94, so it's gonna be warming up here quick. Much of a slappy. Cows are over there acting a little nervous. Let's see if we can get these ones on the first try. It's like this place, this pasture is where we have the most trouble. Look at that nice green grow back. It was looking bleak for a while there, but we started getting some rains. Little goose feather in there. Come on, girls, let's go. They were way out there at the opposite end. Got them in here. Corral's just sitting right down there. Hopefully we get a one shot, one kill type of deal. Come on, girls. They want to go in them trees. I do not want them to go in them trees. There we go. I gotta imagine there's about 20,000 flies in that group with them. Pretty dang good. Yep. Yeah. 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 
the times that cows you know they may come kind of towards you but they veer off that one just straight up ran into dad and that could have been a lot worse He did. Holy. He could have he could have ended up with a broken nose or trampled. Knocked out. Yeah. Yeah. That would have sucked. I would say. <laughs> well, it still wasn't the bowl. Yeah. They had a big bowl in that pasture. It could have been me and that would have been done. <laughs> like you hitting dad or No. No, just me in general. Uh, I probably would have been done. You take a lot more than me. Uh, whew, last pasture, hopefully we can make it through this one without getting trucked. Looks like the calves and the cows are on the way opposite side. stank water. It's got a stank to it. It's real stanky. Ooh. Hello pals. I just realized I don't think I snapped my girlfriend good morning yet. Uh oh. Sorry. In your defense, it is a national holiday. Okay. I'm almost out of gas. It's for all the marbles, right here. Oh, that girl does not want to do it. Being a butthead. 
Height, 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 height. Help! Help! Get the rest of them. Help! Help! He's got a hat. Boo hat. Come on, bud. Come on, buddy. He can't see with his hat. It's covering his eyes too much. Come on, buddy. Hey, don't don't run me over now. Forbidden pudding. What? A month and a half, I suppose, we'll be weaning critters, and I guess we'll take them off here about first. So we're just gonna leave this thing here, so then we don't have to fold it back up and unfold it. Let's make like a tree and get out of here. In the flock? Make like sheep and get the flock out of here. Okay. Make like a tree and leave. But like Biff said. Who's Biff? From uh, Back to the Future. Biff, the mean guy, the bully. Is that kind of like Mr. Janus? No, I don't know what that is. Okay. Mr. Janus. Hugh is his first name. Oh, no, I'm not going to go there. Hugh Janus? Yeah, that's him. That's the guy. Oh, no, not him. That's not not him? No, uh, Biff from Back to the Future. You know, he said make like a tree and get out of here. Let's make like a tree and leaf. Get it? Yeah. Do you? Lauren Falk didn't teach you nothing. That's nice to have done. How do you feel? I'm glad that's done. Yeah, he kind of got rocked there in the last one a little bit. Yeah, well, that happens. Now we can cross two things off our lisp. Lisp? Yep. Off the lisp. For claving and stuff and things. Just in time for lunch. the 
10 point turn right there. Those two groups were fantastic. Talking about health, the calves, they looked good. They were big. They didn't, we didn't have to treat any bad eyes. It's nothing breathing hard, no bad eyes, nothing thin. Just all around good group of cattle. Started about three and a half hours ago, it was 60. Now it's 81, 81 degrees already. Might have to get some ice cream at that there Storla station there. Which by the way, there's a link down below for the website of Storla station we just got up. A lot of you guys have said that you would love to support us and you use vaccines and if you could buy them from us, you would. And so we're just starting to work on something to where you call in and then we place an order for you and Storla Station will get a cut. It'll be the same price. We sell it as the same price as everywhere else. Amongst the board members, you hear over and over, the goals are to just keep the place open so we farmers in the local area have somewhere to use and to have the prices set to where you I just dumped a lot of trash outside of somebody's home. I'll, I'll be right back. That should have been in the cab. And uh, have competitive prices just to where you, it's not like you have to pay for a convenience. You walk in there, you don't need to think about the price because you're gonna get the same thing everywhere else. Hopefully in a couple weeks, you guys will be able to call in if you need anything and we'll have vaccines for everything under the sun, except like, Probably not fish, I don't even know if that's a thing, but you'll just call in, tell us what you need, exchange a card number, and we'll get that shipped out right to your door. Okay, now I'll roll it. Get the other one ready. Keep forgetting it's a holiday in mom's home. Uh -huh. Do you think there's lunch? Well, I told her we would probably lunch. not be home till 1230. Mm -hmm. And if I don't miss my guess, she's probably not even gotten to that point yet because she's so busy. I'm hungry. I can see my cousin down the road. He's driving a semi. They're doing wet corn. Told my dad it's running 25 to 28%. You don't really want it to be any drier than 25, so hopefully we can get to that here in a couple days. Just got to get our combine put together the rest of the way. Hi, Ellie. Last video, we cut the last field of hay. Should be baling that in a couple days. But well, we are officially done with the W260 for the season. There's all kinds of jazz that needs cleaned off it. Half our hay crop right here. This my slow. Ow! Oh, it's a squeeny. Ellie, come here. Ellie, Ellie, come here. Ellie, right there. Do you see him? You don't help much. I think we should have cleaned that a couple months ago. A little bit of mouse repellent. I don't know if that stuff works. I ran out of sticky traps. I like putting those around. What sucks about those is they stick to them and then die and then they smell bad. Better than them chewing on stuff. Well, that's about it for today. I guess we're going to go see my niece in a little bit. One step closer to harvest. Like I mentioned, I got a couple relatives going and it's almost too dry. So hopefully we can, we're just waiting on a couple bearings for that combine. Get those in and then we'll be doing wet corn. Hope you enjoyed watching today's video. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Slappy time. Slappy, slap, slappy time. We should have got her slappy. <laughs>